it's Kay Jones here coming at you with another video. This guy is going to be on how to kill drakes. Um, most people block drakes as a slayer task, but I'm going to go over like what you need and how to kill them. They're kind of a newer slayer monster. I think they came out a couple years ago, maybe, maybe two or three years ago, probably two. Um, and they're just a little newer. So if you're coming back to the game and you've been grinding out slayer, but you're not really familiar with this slayer monster and you can't block it or skip the task i'm gonna go over how to kill it so um drakes are half dragon or like dragon kin so obviously the dragon lance and the dragon hunter crossbow are going to do extra damage on them um the dragon hunter lance i think does 20 percent more accuracy and damage so for drakes i believe it would be half that so 10 percent maybe 15 percent at the max i'm not very sure Regardless, if you do have one, I highly recommend bringing it. Now, you can range drakes, but their highest defense is actually ranged. So, I'm not too sure why I see people ranging them, but they do. So, they'll bring, like, protect from range attacks, and then they'll range it with a um, dragon hunter crossbow. I don't recommend that. Now, obviously, to kill drakes, you need to at least have 84 slayer to get it as a task. Um, and it's going to be in the location of Mount Karulum, 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 I don't know, man, but that location basically. And it's going to be on the great Corin, which is basically Zaya. And I'm having issues. How do I exit out of this map, bro? There we go. Um, there's a couple of different ways to get there through Fairy Ring. I believe it's C-I-R. So it'll take you to the location basically north of the east of the farming guild on Zaya. Um, and it's going to bring you right below this mountain. That's a great way to, to get to this location. The next best location would to bring through a blessing. Um, if you have the elite diaries done for the, um, what is it, the Corin and Kebos, then you'll basically have a direct teleport. Um, some other lower diaries may allow you like a once or twice a day teleport with the blessing. Um, but yeah, those are the ways to get to the location and then I'll go more in depth on how to exactly get there. It is going to be in this Slayer dungeon. Um, something that you need to know is that the Drakes hit with three different attacks and I'm going to go over that in more depth. It's going to be with a melee, a range, and a volcanic flame. So you want something with high range defense like Bandos or arrows, armor, something like that, you know, um, anything with that high range defense is going to be really uh, helpful. Um, if you don't have a lance, you can bring a dragon scimitar or a whip, whatever is fine. It has, for defensive stats for melee, it's the same for slash, um, crush, and stab. Uh, it's plus 60 all around, so it doesn't really have a weakened, um, you know, uh, preference of attack style or type of weapon other than like the lance uh, or the dragon hunter crossbow if you do decide to range. So they do hit really hard. The max hit is 15, so be aware of that. Another thing is if you're going in the Slayer dungeon on Mount Corin, I don't know how to spell that, guys. I mean, I'm so sorry. What is this? Corlum, Corin, Corlum, Coco, go, some, 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 some. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, you know, you're going to need to make sure that you have boots of brimstone. If you don't have boots of brimstone, granite boots are fine. Um, I believe they're called granite boots. Yeah, so basically you need boots of stone, uh, boots of brimstone, or granite boots. You can buy boots to protect yourself. Boots of brimstone are going to be like your highest level of boots, and um, they're about like 700k. I don't think they're worth it, so I wouldn't worry about it. But if you want to buy some... Um, stone boots i believe that you can buy them from any slayer master uh right here and they're extremely cheap i think they're like 200 coins so grab yourself a pair of those if you don't go down in this slayer dungeon and you're not wielding them you will die uh so yeah that's not fun uh now if you have the elite corin and kebos diaries you don't need to wear any boots you're protected uh so in this video you won't see me wielding those boots uh but you do need those if you don't have the Elite Diary done. So let's get into it. Let's get down there. Like I said, you can protect from range and range these guys, but I just don't recommend it. Um, I think melee is the best option, but you can 
bring fire pots, protect from range, and range it with a dragon hunter crossbow. So you're going to come down in this area where these three dudes are, and you're going to take a right. Now, the volcanic uh, flame, you can dodge it, but if you're lazy like me, you can just bring anti-fire pots. So if you're an Iron Man, you may not be able to make anti-fire pots. Um, I will show you the difference on the damage. So for example, I just super combated and we're whacking this Drake. So let's zoom in and notice he's just hitting us with our normal, uh, that was a melee attack. Um, that is a range attack. And so he will be switching between range and melee attacks. There's the fireball though. You can dodge the fireball like I did there. Um, if you don't have anti-fires. So I understand that when I was a lower level Iron Man, it's very difficult to make anti-fire potions. But, um, you know, that's not really a problem here because you can just dodge it. Now the next uh, fireball attack, I'm not going to dodge. And you will see how much damage it does right here. It's like six damage consecutively, as you can see. If you drink an anti-fire, which I did just now, I think that will be mitigated to like one damage consecutively. So if you like to AFK like me, just bring an anti-fire pot if you can and it will mitigate a lot of the damage. Here, let's run in it. Oh, I didn't get there in time. Um, so that's Drake's. You can protect from range, I would say, is the probably most common attack. Um, and if you're a hardcore iron, just know that their max hit is 15. And the drops, it's really a bad Slayer task. You can get the Drake's Tooth, which is worth like 60k, I think. And the Drake's Claws worth more like around the 700k right now. I got one last night, and I made some more Boots of Brimstone, even though I don't even need them. Boots of Brimstone, the reason why they're so valuable, I'll show you. See, I'm going to get hit with the fire. You hit, get hit around 1 damage. So it's a lot better. Uh, so what I wanted to kind of go into is that, you know, the boots of brimstone are actually really good hybrid boots and that's why they're worth something because they kind of give nice range mage and, um, melee defenses and offenses, I believe. Um, and they're pretty good for raids, you know, for people who are just starting raids and are a little bit lower levels. Um, so that's why they hold their value. Oh my God, dude, I just got a dragon knife. That's like a 1 in 2,000 drop. Is that a joke? That is so funny. Yeah, but anyway, guys, that's Drake's. Uh, something I do notice about them is they drop nature runes and law runes quite a lot. And I think that that's pretty nice. They also can drop death runes. And, um, yeah. Um, other than that, pretty uh, terrible task. But I wanted to go over it since it's kind of new content in this game-ish. Especially for people coming back to old school RuneScape. Thanks so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great one. Cheers.